Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and here you are at my channel, which is an excellent thing. You're probably here to learn about QuickBooks Point of Sale. That's great because that is what we are going to talk about. And today in our video, we are going to take a look a, a kind of broad overview of reporting in QuickBooks Point of Sale. That's right, reports, numbers, um, kind of giving you a view into what's going on in your store and in QuickBooks point of sale. I guess, you know, I like to take a moment and just mention that QuickBooks point of sale is just this ginormous beast of numbers and things going on, uh, product coming in, sales going out. Uh, it's all hooked up to QuickBooks accounting and the accounts there and there's just, there is a whole, it looks simple it looks simple in front of us right now. It's got icons, it's shiny, hooray, it looks nice. But there is so much going on under the hood with the numbers and and all of the documents and it's just really amazing these days compared to an old cash register, all of the things that a point of sale does and keeps track for you. Uh, I, I almost have to laugh sometimes when uh, when clients or customers are like, oh, you know, why doesn't it do this? And why doesn't it do that? And yeah, it's nice. I mean, we, we could all think of a million different things that it should do or would do, but it's, it's kind of crazy and amazing how much it is doing in the engine and keeping track of. Uh, so we're going to take a look real quick at reports and reporting and just kind of touch on what you can do and what it helps you do. Before we get into that, go ahead and click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. This is an excellent community where you can ask questions uh, about QuickBooks Point of Sale, whether it does have a feature or maybe you want to request a video for this channel or ask about an error. People such as myself and other store owners that are using QuickBooks Point of Sale are answering questions all the time and so we're having a great dialogue and tons of great information coming out there and if you're on YouTube go ahead and hit subscribe down below so you get all the best QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time alright let's do it let's get into the reports and see how uh, they have tried to take all this complicated stuff that's going on under the hood and give you uh, a spyglass uh, a little view on what's going on there and trying to put it into a quantifiable form that you can put in front of somebody and it can be understandable instead of just a bunch of gibberish that it probably is going on in the background. So on the reports menu we have the report center and I will tell you that the report center as we will view it in a moment is pretty much just a different format of all of these different menus here. So in the report center, you can have multiple tabs open with multiple reports and all of those tabs and reports are pretty much navigated in a similar fashion as is organized here on this menu. And so you can see right away that there's a couple different topics here. I would call them topics or departments. And so when you're thinking of looking into the data and figuring something out that's going on in your store, you have to ask yourself, what what is the piece of information that's driving what I want to look at? Um, are you wanting to look at something particular to sales? Or are you wanting to look at something that totally has to do with your inventory? Or maybe it has to do with your customers? Uh, so you need to kind of visualize or think what is the object that would hold <laughs> The information that I am seeking. Does this totally have to do with customers or does this have to do with what customers are buying in which case that would probably be sales. And so you can see some of these topics here. Uh, sales, cash drawer, payments, customers, items which is another word for inventory. I almost think they should put inventory here instead of items but you know it has to do also with services and non-inventory items so we'll just call it items. And then there's purchasing, which of course is like buying stuff to put in your store from your vendors. And we've got employees and financial exchange, which is fancy word for talking to QuickBooks accounting. 
And then later on in the series of reports, we will talk about memorizing reports. And that's where you totally customize your own report and you add filters and you add all the columns that you want and you add the time period and you, you totally manipulate the data that you're seeing so it's exactly what you want to see and then you can memorize it and that's a fancy word for saving it so you can come back to it over and over and over again so i'm gonna go right up here and then i i did put out another video um i think last week on the dashboard which used to be a place where you could put all sorts of reports next to each other and you could you kind of see a, a bunch of different snapshots of what's going on in your store and so don't forget to check out that video. They kind of hid the dashboard, it's right here and it's not that easy to get to anymore. People just overlook it, they don't know what it is so they don't touch it. So you could totally do a lot after you've memorized some reports or modified reports, put them in your dashboard and then you'll have everything you wanna look at all at once. But let's go to the report center. Like I mentioned, uh, this is gonna be set up a lot like those menus were. Uh, this page right here has some of the like most used reports so like some of the top reports that people like to use all the time uh, maybe you just want to look at your open purchase orders and see what hasn't come in yet uh, maybe you want to look at your inventory value or you want to narrow down on your item list and just look at certain items and inventory uh, you could look at your customer list or reward history now I'm going to jump over to the all reports tab and this is really what mimics that menu system at the top. It's probably the fastest just to go down and go on that menu and just find the report you're looking for. But if you're already in the report center because you went on the menu and you chose a report, then you can start app, uh, opening up multiple reports and they will all open in their own tab here. Now, uh, just a quick little brush up on how reports work. You, you're gonna get the default report, or if it looks all screwy and all the, all the uh, columns are ones that don't even, you don't even think they're very important or anything like that. If you hit modify here, a uh, key piece of information is that if you hit this revert key, it is going to revert to the default number of columns. And now we can see here that uh, since this is not a store that's currently running, we probably want to backdate so we can actually see some information. So this would be the default report that just like it came out of the box because we reverted it. And as an overview on reports, there's so many things that you can narrow down to by adding or removing the columns that you want to see, as well as, um, making them subtotal by a certain column, <clears throat> grouping them, sorting them, and then filtering data will help you just to narrow, narrow way down to exactly what you wanna see. Uh, maybe you only wanna see uh, products that have a certain margin, or um, maybe you just want to see a certain price level or discount um, or certain quantity that's been sold in the past. Uh, there's so many things. I mean, this is just a broad overview of reporting and just to kind of get you familiar with where it is and all the different topics uh, such as payments that were made, customers, inventory and items, like I said, the purchasing of, from your vendors, uh, things to do with your employees, whether it's commission or time clock, the financial exchange with QuickBooks accounting, and then reports that you've memorized yourself. Um, it's hard to, to show you every single thing with reporting because it's it's such a vast topic in QuickBooks point of sale. There's so many reports, and I have I have so many people all the time who are like, "How would I look at blah 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 blah? How would I look at this type of information?" And what you need to do is a lot of times just find one of the reports that uh, kind of has to do with the information that you're speaking of. Maybe it's not right on, but opening a report that has to do with the information or data uh, that you're thinking about, oftentimes you can manipulate it, modify it, filter it down and get the exact information that you're actually seeking 
by manipulating reports that are in here by default or just starting out with um, you know sales detail would be like every item and every receipt and maybe you want to narrow it down from there and then just get subtotals in a certain column I mean so yeah it's very powerful you can usually find what you're looking for or what you're seeking in QuickBooks point of sale as far as the data is concerned a lot of times with an owner they'll just be curious about something and they'll be like I wonder how I would figure out blah 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 and so these curiosities come from day to day you might want to write them down on a piece of paper and then some night just do some heavy reporting filtering modifying and then memorizing those reports so that you can look at them day after day week after week throughout your year and maybe compare them there's port reports also where you can compare to last year um, but yeah lots of great information here and I'll be excited to go through some of these reports in a little more detail because I think they will help your store. So if this helped you, go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those as well, and I'd love to answer them. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business, and this was a reporting overview in QuickBooks Point of Sale. You have an excellent day now.